Mililani head coach Rod York said winning last year's D1 state title was like winning a college bowl game instead of the national championship. But nevertheless, still a championship and their second Cole Wood in three seasons. With more changes to the postseason, this time it will be all or nothing if they want to add trophy number three. This is the Mililani Trojans. And this is 16 and 16. Yeah, you baby. Last year's introduction of the three-tier state tournament extended the season for several teams who would have already been sent packing. A loss to Waianae in the OIA playoffs landed the Trojans in the middle tier, in which they ended up taking home the hardware. People were putting down on us because we didn't make it to the opening and we won champs for D1, but like I feel like we should be in opening anyways. I don't know, but I'm happy that we won it anyways. It was a blessing. Got the ring. <laughs> They also got the opportunity to continue their growth and gain game experience to set them up for a run at the Open Division in 2017. Uh, last year, we had a lot of off-the-field problems uh, with the team. I, I believe we corrected that. Unfortunately, there's no Division I for OIA, um, but we don't plan on being in the Division I anyway. <laughs> we try to get in the Open. To get there, they'll have the luxury of nine starters returning to an offense to average the second most points in the state last year. All five offensive linemen return to protect the pocket for quarterback Dylan Gabriel. They pushed me, so you know I know they got my back. I got theirs, especially all five coming back. So we know the scheme. We know what we got to do is just executing it. I've been watching the film this whole summer, and I'm just been you know studying as much as I can. With my dad and and if I can you know cut down on the interceptions, I think we can have a pretty good shot in the offensive side. While well, Ryan Chang, Sai Kubuyama Hayashi, and Nayir Mohammed look to be the top passing targets. It'll be the ground game, hoping to get them open down the field. You know, this year you see a full back in the backfield. So we're going to utilize uh, Cliff Malapiai, Darius Mosau, and uh, Jalen Olamo most definitely with, with Ely coming back. And, um, you know, we're pretty deep. We've got a good problem. You know, i got, I got to find ways to get these guys the ball. Mosau and Olamo will also play on the other side of the ball as a part of five starters returning on defense. But up front, they'll be led by Tasi Malapiai and Micah Tuioli Motu. Last year we ran a three front for a D line, but this year we're going to run a four front. Yeah, we had a lot of blitzes because we needed to put pressure on some of those holes because we can't just three guys against five guys. And we want to be seen as like one unit instead of one guy's better than everyone else. And it's going to take everyone working as one unit to reach another championship. You know, we may not be the biggest, as everyone knows, but we do got a lot of dogs, you know, small dudes, but, you know, we're going to outwork you. And that, that's been our, you know, kind of motto, I feel. The Mililani Trojans begin their season August 11 against Kaiser. Spencer Honda, scoringlive.com. <laughs>